This is the daily update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Thursday, November 5th, 2020. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We remain in this uncertain time. Tomorrow we may have election results. Tomorrow, uh, as, as happens most Fridays, the Health Department will update the COVID-19 risk dial for Lancaster County. And looking at the numbers, I'm increasingly unsure what the case is not to move the dial into the red zone here in Lincoln. But for right now, we remain in this liminal space. That's a tough place to be. So as a quick reminder, uh, today we'll have drop-in pastoral care uh, from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Um, that Zoom information is in yesterday, yesterday's eve last. Um, tonight at 7 o'clock, uh, there is a national vigil put together by the UUA and UU the Vote that will take the place of our usual Thursday night Vespers service. So information about that is in your e-blast and this video description. But while we're in this in-between, such as it is, I want to read a poem for you. Each year, Skinner House, the, the in-house UUA publisher, puts out a meditation manual, short pieces focused on spiritual practice. Some years they're anthologies, some years they're a product of a single voice. Breaking and Blessing by Sean Parker Dennison is this year's, and, and it's just magnificent. I've been going back to Reverend Dennison's writing over and over this fall. We used this sequence I'm about to read at one of our Thursday night services, but uh, it was a relatively low attendance week, so I'm, I'm comfortable using it again relatively quickly. I won't say much more about that. I'll, I'll leave it up to you to connect this poem to our current context. It's actually three poems. A Letter to Our Better Angels, Reverend Sean Parker Dennison. Dear Angels, it seems important to begin by making it clear that we are not talking about celestial winged beings. This letter is addressed inst instead to our better selves the people we hope we will be when necessary. We might often note that we more often excel at our self-appointed role as advocate for the devil, a requisite proposition that is also, if you ask us, not literal but theoretical and therefore without consequence. We are writing to let you know that we feel your presence insufficient and unpredictable. And when we inquire about how to make you more dependable, we are offended and opposed to, offended by and opposed to the level of accountability required. We are hoping to make arrangements for an increase in the percentage of goodness and presence of admirable qualities in ourselves and in others, especially in others. We respectfully request that this come easily and with immediate delivery, a dependable warranty at no extra cost. We would be even more pleased if it could be arranged for us to become better people without needing to change or consider any needs but our own. It would also please us if our status as increasingly good could be noted in some way, perhaps a cookie, a badge, a halo so long as it's comfortable. We hope you will consider our request as soon as humanly possible, not in angel time, we have already waited a long time, unaware of the seriousness of the situation, the disrepair to our reputation. Please expedite our request. We have only just noticed that the world is ending. Sincerely. Letter from Our Better Angels, Reverend Sean Parker Dennison. Dear one, we have received your letter and we hate to tell you, not hate so much, but are a bit afraid to say, we cannot grant your requests as stated, but can only remind you of familiar things. First faith. Faith in yourself and trust in others. We know it can be terrifying to be vulnerable, but only when you share 
your softest side will we be able to break through. Next, hope. Hope is not an empty fairy tale. It is the true story of all the times human beings like you have found a way to create the future, though you didn't know how. And of course, love. Love that demands you cherish all people, not just yourself and safety. Love that is not satisfied until every argument ends abruptly, whenever one child says that hurts. There is so much to learn and relearn. The world teaches you to be hard, to negotiate and defend, to avoid giving too much and to the wrong people. There are no wrong people. You also are not wrong. And when you encounter the poor, the broken, the unhoused and unwelcome, you are looking, if you pay attention, at us calling to you calling you to answer your own prayers. If you want to change the world first, be sure you are changing yourself. Be tender, be kind, be at peace, be all the things you wish for, be your own better self. It isn't without cost, but it will be free. P.S. Dear ones, we almost forgot. It is important to remember this world is ending. We cannot stop it. And only if we find we are the same angel and human, only if we find our common hope, will it begin again. Be at peace, everybody. Stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow.